What's going on everybody? I'm back again with another video. And as you guys know, I'm staying at my father's house, but today I came to my neighborhood where I actually live to see the situation going on around here. So far right now it's peaceful. As you can see, there's not much people around. And it's pretty much a residential area. I come to my neighborhood about once, twice a week, you know, to check my mail and just, you know, check on the status, I almost trip over there. But yeah, you know, I'm gonna walk around the park and stuff to see how things is coming up, you know. Little by little, they opening up some places around here in, in the Ironbound section of Newark, New Jersey. But like I said, you know, you know, most of the places are for takeout and delivery. So yeah, usually you will see more people when the weather's nice like this, but not too many people out here, it's pretty empty. <music> So now I decided to walk in a park that is only a few blocks from where I live. It's called Independence Park. And I see so far some kids playing soccer, a couple of people chilling around. So it looks like life little by little is coming back to normal. Of course, you know, it's all to keep their social distancing, but you know, people got to go out when the weather's nice, you know, they just can't stay indoors. So as you can see, there's a couple of people around the park, like over there, they're playing, there's kids and stuff. And I kind of miss it, you know, I live around here, and this is when you appreciate, you know, what you got over here when you walk around. So I kind of miss it, it feels good to be back in my neighborhood. I haven't been in New York City like in a month and a half, maybe someday I'll just walk there for a few hours to see what's going on, then I'll turn back. But yeah, you know, I miss, I miss all of this, walking around my neighborhood, finding something to, to do, you know, and hoping that things get pretty better, you know, and life gets back to normal. And even though here, usually, like in a nice weather like today, even though it's cloudy, this park will be normally packed. Like a lot of kids from, this is high school right to my left side. And a lot of kids that come over here to hang out, then you see the parents walking their dogs and stuff, but you don't see too many people and then, I hear like birds. I don't forget, I don't remember the last time I would hear that type of noise, but usually in streets like this, even when I was walking in New York City when the fiends started getting bad, I was walking for the main avenue and all I could hear was the birds. That's how quiet it was. But yeah, you know, something different every day. And I like it over here because it's like I'm, I'm walking around with a ton of trees, you can see. Let me show you to my, uh, my background right here. Trees all over. Like the nature in the middle of the concrete because this city over here in Norton, New Jersey is mostly apartment complex, apartment complex buildings as you can see, you know, mostly residential area. And yeah, as you can see the basketball court is closed. The tennis court is closed, it stays over there. Because it's all like sports that are mostly contact, so people want to try to avoid that, you know. That way we contain the virus. Even the baseball park is closed, as you can see. As you can see, here's the sign, social distancing, six feet apart. And you can see the playground is closed. Usually there would be a lot of people over there with their kids playing, but it's dead. So it's good that the sidewalks are pretty much spread. So now I'm gonna try to make my way to Ferry Street which they also call it Portugal Avenue, but this, is this neighborhood is mostly Portuguese and Brazilian. And I'm gonna see how it's looking over there. Normally that's the main street that is usually busy during the daytime. But there's a lot of businesses and stuff, but I think a lot of businesses are shut down. And you're not gonna see too many people unless they go to the pharmacy or essential duties. Another street, you can see how quiet it is. I see a couple of businesses like this one to my right hand that are open. And this is a great burger spot over here, Hamburgau. It's still like one of the best Brazilian burgers here in New York, New Jersey. Really good spot, so if you're around, you should definitely check it out. So, I uh, made it to the main street, as you can see. Not much going around here. A couple of businesses open, but it's mostly closed. And of course, a lot of people are wearing 
face coverings and face masks. Cause it's mandatory when you walk in the store. This should be this street. It's the street that I walk every single day to commute to work in Manhattan. But today I'm walking in for a different reason, just to see what's happening around. Now I'm passing on one of the best barbecues in my neighborhood or in Newark, Ferry Street Barbecue. For a cheap price, for a decent price, you could get a lot of portion of food here. And good food, they make uh, ribs, they make chicken. They, you know, you could get a half an order of fries or rice and all that, but yeah, it's worth it. So if you're around the neighborhood, I highly recommend that you check that play, that spot out. And another fun fact, which I said it in a blog a couple of years ago, in this neighborhood right here, if you ever seen the movie for Tom Cruise's War of World, they film it in this neighborhood. Like right, this is a church all the way at the end. If you've seen the movie, it's mostly destroying stuff. They film it like right there in this neighborhood. So that's a fun fact. So you can see the neighborhood is pretty much dead. Not too many people walking around, just doing basic stuff. Usually it'll be a lot of people around here, but not too many people, not even traffic. Sometimes there's a lot of traffic here, but that's not the case right now. So one cool thing behind me, there's a few uh, smoke shops. They're usually closed, but then I realized they're open and they're like right next to each other. And one of the smoke shops, they're selling, you know, hand sanitizers, face masks, which I used to be like a, Used to be really hard to find, but now it's pretty easy to find it, so it's a good thing they're doing that. And right behind me is downtown Newark, and that building over there, that's the train station. That's where I used to commute all the way to go to work. But like I said, I was one of the victims that got laid off, but hey, you know, it is what it is. At least I'm taking a rest and I'm spending time with my family. That was the end of my video, a little walk around my neighborhood in Newark. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Stay safe everybody and peace.